Muy buena gente, seguimos Gente, en el capítulo anterior nos habíamos quedado haciendo la misión de Horizonte, me parece que era La de la colonia donde nos encontramos a la... Sargento, Teniente Williams, Ashley Williams Vaya, la que estuvo en el primer juego con la que tuvimos rollito, gente Lo terminamos, gente, y ya habíamos terminado toda la secundaria Que ahora no había salido esta nueva, gente y habíamos terminado ya prácticamente todas las la principales, excepto esta Esta de los recolectores Y ahora, gente, vamos a continuar esta, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a activar el Krogan a Grun, ¿de acuerdo? Y una vez lo hagamos, que nos va a llevar unos minutitos Creo que nos vamos a ir a Ilium, ¿de acuerdo? Que ahí tienen un montón de cositas Tenemos que voy a intentar ir a por Zain Zain Crius y a ver si podemos hacer también que también es en Ilium eh, la misión personal de Miranda, ¿de acuerdo? O bueno, podría hacer primero esto, Miranda. No, no, primero es verdad, primero dijimos Jacob, gente, es verdad. Primero Jacob y una vez hagamos la de Jacob nos vamos a Ilium para hacer la de Miranda y después seguimos haciendo la de Zane y todo lo que haya por allí, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Ve? En Ilium también Samara, la justiciera Samara también... Está en el Hay mucho que hacer en ese planeta, ¿de acuerdo? Pues venga, vamos a ponernos ya... ¡Ah, no, no! ¡Calla, calla, calla! Espérate, espérate. No, vamos a por Grunt, tío. Está aquí, la cápsula del Krogan, gente. <coughs> Recordad que lo conseguimos haciendo la misión de... La cápsula la conseguimos haciendo la misión del jefe criminal, el Okir... Que murió gente y nos quedamos con el Krogan este, ¿de acuerdo? Que todavía no hemos visto cómo es, ni quién es, ni nada, ¿de acuerdo? Eh... Creo que es aquí, ¿no? No, aquí está Zae. Pues está, tiene que estar en el otro lado, allí. Tiene que estar aquí. Sí, ahí lo tenemos, gente Está bastante guapo el Krogan Es como un poquito distinto al resto Ya lo veréis, gente Venga, ¿estáis listos? Ese, ya veréis la voz que tiene, es brutal El subjecto es estable, Shepard La integración con los sistemas de bordo fue seamless ¿Puede ver algo ahí? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Vale, ahora tenemos que tomar la decisión de mantenerlo cerrado o abrir el tanque, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a abrirlo. Stand by. I'm going to open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours.
die. I need a name. I'm Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Ahí tenemos trofeo de, de bronce. No ha salido como yo esperaba, pero bueno, ha salido guay. Gente, habéis visto la voz que tiene Grant. Shepard. Vamos a hablar con él un poquito. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength, nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Vale, tenemos aquí mejora gente. Nada, mejoras de la nave no me salen, tío. Pues nada, no tenemos gente. So I should keep this crap around? Don't let it pile up. I live down here. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. <laughs> vale, no ha echado a la mierda un poquito. That's all for now. Shepard. Shepard. Vale, pues ya está, ya pertenece a nuestra tripulación, ¿de acuerdo? Es de los más duros quizá que tenemos del grupo, ¿de acuerdo? Es como un super Krogan, y ya de por sí los Krogan normales son bastante tochos, gente. Tenemos aquí un, un bicharraco. Eh, vale. Pero me ha sorprendido que no me diera ningún tipo de mejora ni nada, es muy raro, ¿eh? Vamos aquí. Eh, vale, pues llevamos casi 10 minutetes, gente. Vamos. Ah, es verdad, había que. Mira. Thank you for your time. I'll 
I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground and a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Vale, tenemos la como una especie de misión personal del del pollo este, tío. A ver. Mal rollo da la mierda esa, ¿no, gente? <risa> vale. Venga, vámonos para acá, gente, que me había acordado en el último minuto que la misión secundaria que teníamos, de hecho ahora habrá cambiado, ¿no? Veis, esta la veis, comprueba la terminal privada. Mensajes del cuartel general. Ahora tenemos que ir para acá. Eh, vale, eso lo dejaremos para un poquito más adelante, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a ir primero a ver dónde podemos ir. Horizonte. Ah, vale, esto está sin hacer prácticamente. A ver. No, mira, es como la tierra, ¿eh? Por eso había aquí colonia humana. Vale, vamos a echar un vistacito cuño. Este es un rocoso y bastante grande, ¿eh? Vamos a limpiar aquí un poquito, ¿de acuerdo? Ahora nuestro objetivo, como ya os dije, pero te voy a bajar esto un poquito. Nuestro objetivo es ir a Ilium, ¿de acuerdo? Que tenemos muchísimas cosas por ahí. Y si no recuerdo mal, me parece que Ilium o es el planeta natal de la Sasari, la, la azul, la azul es con el con tentáculo en la cabeza, o era uno de sus mundos principales, algo así era, me parece. Echaremos un vistacillo para mirar ese detalle, aunque sea de acuerdo, de Ilium. Mira, en cuanto llega pobre una cosa así, lo dejamos. Lo dejamos. Venga, Garbanzín. Mira, mira. Este sí lo va a dejar en pobre. Agotado. Vámonos. Papi. Este, a ver. Este si tiene moderado lo dejamos. ¿eh? Ah, pobre. Pasando del tema. Y a ver este chiquetito. 
Watchman se llama. <risa> Watchman. Ah, pues debería de tener. A ver, pero te vamos a echar un vistacillo. Vamos a tirar un par de. Un par de pico. Vale. Mm, ya está, yo creo que nos podemos ir ya, ¿no? Ah, una última más. Ah, vámonos, gente. Y era, terminado. Este no tiene... Es un sistema único. Mar de sombra, 100%. Vale. Mira, ya tenemos todo... Ah, mira, con fines lejanos, tío. Vamos a llegar un momentito aquí. Ah, no, pero este no es gente, ¿no? Creo. Hostia, pero igualmente, mirad la, mirad la estrella, ¿eh, tío. Nos podemos jugar a poner <ríe> por dentro. What? Dolen. Qué chulo, tío. No, pero este no es el que yo digo, ¿eh? Mira, nebulosa de Rosetta. Aquí está, nebulosa creciente. Tenemos aquí a ayudar a Miranda, el recluta del asesino y a la justiciera. Vale, es lo único que tenemos que hacer. Bueno, Ilium en general, que también encontraremos allí a... Eh... Nada, vamos a la nebulosa Rosetta, ¿de acuerdo? Que es al Jacob. Primero hacemos Jacob y después ya vamos directamente a Ilium, ¿de acuerdo? Eh... A ver este... Qué chulo está este planeta. Nada, moderado, pasando. ¡Eh, eh, eh! De pasando nada, ¿eh? Tiene, tiene ISO. Espérate. Vale. Este es importante, ¿eh? El elemento cero. Te da muy poquito. Ahí va, perfecto, perfecto. Ah, tírale también. Está ya probe. Ahí va. Yo creo que ya está, ¿no? A ver, una última pasadilla. Nada, gente, vámonos de aquí ya. Eh, a ver, el grandote este de aquí. Este debería de tener poco, ¿no? Madrado, sí. Va, ah, dale. Nah, ya está, paso, gente. Este es moderado. Ya dijimos que los moderados pasando, ¿de acuerdo? Eh... Enoch se llama el planeta este. El, perdón, el planeta, el, el sistema. La van, mirad que chulo el planetilla este, tío. Rico. Ahí está, vale, caña. Hostia, mira, es que tiene, tiene ISO de este, tío. Dale, dale. Vale. No, ya en serio, gente. Los niveles que ponga normalito y tal, moderado y todo el rollo, lo vamos a ir dejando, ¿de acuerdo? Porque ya, ya hemos explorado muchísimos planetas, hemos escaneado muchísimos planetas, tío, ya... <risa> ya vale. Pero esto sí, para el ISO sí, ¿eh, gente, es muy importante el ISO. Toma, lo tenemos bastante ISO, ¿eh? No está mal. Y ahí también que pilla un poquito de... Pobre, pasando, venga, gente. Y el último por aquí. Vale. 
Mira, Joab. Oh, mira, este también tiene. También tiene ISO, eh, gente. Que sí, no sé el por qué me pone el consejo si ha hecho 38 de, de eso. <ríe> Como si no lo. <ríe> el nivel de, de. En el examen de inglés del C2, gente, yo creo que te pone la grabación que se está escuchando aquí. Madre mía, no entiendo nada. O como las radios de la Fórmula 1 que dicen cosas en inglés, pero ni, ni papa de lo que dicen, ¿sabes? <ríe> Se escucha tan mal. Ah, mira, está ahí al ladito, ¿eh, gente? Ya lo, ya lo hemos visto. Ah. Actividad mercenaria en la superficie planetaria. Eh... Lo vamos a dejar para después, gente. Lo vamos a dejar ahí. Vamos a intentar hacer primero, porque aparte llevamos ya 22 minutos. ¿Qué dices? Mira, ya está, gente. Este es el último... Mira, está pobre ya, gente. Se acabó. Vale, ya lo hemos terminado al 100%. Vamos a recargar. Vamos a ir directo. <ríe> Ficlio. Vale, vámonos directamente a Alfa Draconis. Vamos a hacer lo de Jacob, ¿de acuerdo? Que ya hemos perdido mucho tiempo, tío. Y si da tiempo, gente, hacemos lo de la anomalía, ¿de acuerdo? Eh... Venga, es que son. <ríe> y es que son dos. Vete, si está moderado, entonces sí. Sudando. 2175AR2. Ah, hay que. Hostia, y es que también tiene ISO, ¿sabes? Uy. Ah, le, le hemos dado a la primera, bien, bien. Por cierto, hemos conseguido. Llevamos ya 71.000 de elementos cero. Vamos a explorar los estudiantes. Por este sí merece. Parece que merece la pena este. Vale. La música es espectacular, eh, gente, la de. Esta, la de búsqueda de planetas y tal, es increíble. A mí este sonido... Me encanta, tío. O sea, es que no se me hubiese ocurrido a mí en la vida. Hacer una canción mejor para, para esto, como de exploración espacial, es increíble. Coño, menos mal que estaba pobre, ¿sabes? Eh, eh, eh. Venga, vamos a tirarnos ya de cabeza, gente, que llevamos un medio capítulo nada más que en tontería, tío. Mira, ya tenemos el 100%. Aterrizar. Yo creo que en media hora me da tiempo, ¿no? Creo. No debería de haber tardado tanto, tío. Hemos liado tela, gente. Eh, Nos llevamos a Grunty. No, vamos a llevarnos a Miranda, gente. Eh, hmm, hmm. Vamos a subir esto. Ella nada. Ah, Jacob sí, gente. Jacob, a ver, munición incendiaria. Y eso mismo, ¿por qué no? A ver. La habilidad para sobrevivir de Jacob sobre un volental lo hace más difícil de matar. 
La experiencia de Jacob eh, neutralizando al enemigo aumenta el daño que hacen con su arma. Vamos a darle ese. Pues ya estaría, gente. Ah, creo que sé cua, cuál es. Va. Vale. Vale, no, estoy pensando yo que, gente, esto es una misión principal. Igual deberíamos de haberlo dejado para otro capítulo o algo así. Sí, porque esto va a ser largo, tío, y no, no nos va a entrar. Vale, eh, leed gente porque por alguna razón no, no se ha reproducido el audio de, <laughs> del diálogo, pero bueno. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, The Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why are you comparing the crash to theoretical speeds? The Hugo Gernsback was constructed off-world. It is not rated for suborbital descent. And doing so exceeded operational parameters. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of acting captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted come on let's get going let's check the ship my father had the beacon for almost nine years maybe that neural decay affected him avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely vale están comentando que posiblemente el tema de eso es por ahí espérate yo me puedo meter allí que es posible que haya deterioro cognitivo por el tema de comer uf, eh, comida de, de este planeta no.
Vale, parecen como mensajes que va dejando alguien. Posiblemente sea el padre. ¿Esa era Miranda? O sea, nada, Miranda, ¿eh? Vale, vamos a piratear esta mierda. Aquí tenemos uno. Otro. Y... Nos falta... No lo veo. Aquí. Vale, perfecto, bro. Venga, seguimos. Nos queda todavía 30 minutillos, ¿eh, gente? Llegamos al Ecuador del, cua del, del capitulillo. <ríe> del capitulillo. Vale, lo veis, gente. Eh, se están quedando como sin memoria, como que no le funciona bien el. el cerebro. Ya, vamos para adelante. No creo que nos dé tiempo a terminar, eh. Lo que estaba diciendo, no, no creo que nos dé tiempo a terminar en este capítulo. Si terminamos, de lujo, pero no creo. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters, they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I, I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were, they were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Hostiles! Hostiles han vuelto loquísimo. Nice job! Get over here! Oye, ¿qué pasa? <risa> Te turbomato. Y yo, dale caña. Y yo, por Dios, la cámara, ¿eh? That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Vale, no se puede seguir hablando con ella. Eh... Ah, mira aquí, parte suelta. Vale. Bueno, pues vamos a tener peña, son fáciles de matar esta gente. Parece. Fijaos que chulo lo de la, la sombra de las nubes. Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Vale, ahí como Status settlement. They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Exactamente, parece como una especie de asentamiento de Clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It 
doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Vale, por ahora tenemos aquí el misterio. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. I can't talk to you. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Vale, algo ha hecho el padre, de acuerdo. <ríe> no me acuerdo muy bien de la misión, eh, realmente. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other, like him. You'll hurt me. Mira, aquí tenemos parte suelta. Bien. Eh, ojito, eh. Espérate, vamos para adelante porque si no no le podemos dar. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are for patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Mira, ahí has, al médico lo hemos salvado seguramente. Ah, mira, no pedía no había que. Seguramente este sí nos contará algo, ¿eh? No. Tío, gira como muy lenta la cámara, ¿no, gente? Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? 
abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Uh, <laughs> el padre, cuidadito con el padre, eh. <laughs> Como mascota, tío. Esto qué es, a ver. Vale. Esto es para piratear un robot, gente. Ah, no, es una, es una bomba. Right behind you. Right. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. Ah, mira, está por ahí ya el. It's really him. El papu. The old corpse has been posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. It's aquí el padre, ¿no? Puede ser. Ah, no, no, no. no. Vale, no sé si este está muerto, no lo sé. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Que ah, que eran más. Right. Bien. Facilito, gente. A la cañita. Vale, parece que ya, ¿no? Ah, pilla munición. Ahí va. Zero contacts. Sí, parece que de momento sí. Now what's this? Mira, pistola pesada. Algo hemos desbloqueado, ¿eh? Es que... Eh, vale, gente. Vamos a continuar, por cierto. Llevamos 43 minutos. Espérate, viene más peña, ¿eh? Vale, queda... Aquí queda uno más. Pero nos está mandando a, lo, a los roboces, ¿no, gente? Queda, quedan más, eh, he visto. Sí. Parece que ya. La estación médica. Mira, baterías también. Bien, yeah, bien, yeah, bien. Yeah. Ahora aquí vendrá la hostia de peña, ¿no, gente? Tío, ¿qué cojones esto, tío? <risa> ¡Oh, tío! Vale, tírale esto. ¡Pompa! Ya, 
bien, bien, bien. Vamos a ponerlas de fuego porque estos son humans. Corre. Cuidado, ese sigue vivo, ¿eh? Ya no. <risa> Seguía vivo. Mira, elemento cero, gente. Ah, digo, estoy viendo por ahí una PDA. Vale, dinerito, gente. Más ammunition. A ver, espérate, puede ser que aquí haya algo, ¿eh? Vale, pues yo creo que ya, ¿no? Ah, que tengo que llegar allá al fondo. Eh, 46 minutetes, ¿eh, gente? Si no encontramos el tema ya, lo, lo intentamos terminar. Si no, me parece a mí que lo vamos a tener que intentar dejar para después. Creo que es ese, ¿no? Sí, es el padre. Vale. Venga, vamos a darle, gente. Tenemos 13 minutos. A ver qué pasa. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would 10 years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But 10 years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. 
What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Oh, tío. <risa> Qué final más turbio, ¿no, gente? Eh, bueno, gente, pues a ver. Eh, fijaos, dice, los supervivientes de AIA están siendo tratados por el personal de la Alianza con el apoyo adicional de Cerberus. Resulta reconfortante comprobar que Taylor no se ha visto psicológicamente afectado por la experiencia. Ahora que el asunto de su padre está resuelto, Jacob está concentrado totalmente en la misión, ¿de acuerdo? Podemos contar el 100% ahora con Jacob, ¿de acuerdo? Y eso es lo que tenemos que hacer con todos los personajes. Pues escucha, hemos terminado de milagro, ¿eh? Yo creía que no me iba a dar tiempo. Experiencia ganada, poder de, de Jacob desbloqueado, la barrera. Creo un escudo que absorbe una gran cantidad de daño. Jacob ahora tiene un nuevo traje, bastante guapo de hecho. <coughs> daño con la pistola, crédito, elemento cero, vale. La sombra del padre, trofeo de, de bronce. Vale, pues... Ah. Jacob, si I had leaked the information about the Gurns back, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine, you didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Bien, bien, bien. Bueno, pues ya está, gente. Ya hemos terminado la misión de Jacob, ¿de acuerdo? Eh. 
55 minutos. Vamos a mirar a ver si tenemos por aquí alguna mejora. Que sí que tenemos. Vamos a mejorar cositas rápidamente. Nada, mejora de la nave. Ah, mira, blindaje para naves pesadas. Ahora cada vez, gente, que hagamos una misión secundaria, creo, vamos desbloqueando esto. Eh, mejoras para la nave de las tochas. Que nos, van a, nos va a venir de lujo. ¿Veis, gente? 15.000 de... Y por cada tontería que nos den... Es un puño de, de, de elementos y tal. Por eso, mira, escopeta croga. Bella. También, ¿por qué no? Vale, pues gente, ya hemos terminado aquí. Eh... Uh, a Jan le gustaría hablar conmigo. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports refer Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Vale, <laughs> gente. Vale, pues lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí. 57 minutitos acaban de dar exactamente. Nada, eh, a ver, vamos a echar un vistacito a esto. Ya hemos terminado... Mira, habla con Jack. Esto es porque seguramente nos va a pedir hacer la misión secundaria también para ella o algo así, ¿de acuerdo? O sea, que lo haremos igualmente. Eh, vale, pues vamos a echar un guardadito, gente. Este de aquí, ¿de acuerdo? Y ya estaría, gente. Pues continuaremos en el siguiente capítulo, eh, ¿vale? Que, a ver, iremos directamente a ver qué es lo que quiere Jack Es que no me acuerdo qué es. Supongo que será para pedirnos la misión secundaria esta especial de ella Y nada, lo haremos, gente Y si veo que <coughs> que es una misión larguita o algo así Pues ya haremos lo de Miranda en otro capítulo Y podemos hacer lo secundario, la anomalía esa que hemos visto en el planeta Antes de, de ir a lo de Jacob, ¿de acuerdo? Pues nada, gente, lo dejamos por aquí, que me quedo sin tiempo. Como siempre, muchísimas gracias por estar ahí. Gracias por acompañarme, gente. Espero que hayáis disfrutado del capítulo y nos vemos en el siguiente, gente. ¡Chao!